Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at my full EDC setup. These items are essential to my daily flow and they allow me to uh, stay emotionally connected, uh, physically safe, mentally stable, whenever I'm out and about, going through this journey known as life. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. Now let's start with my phone, uh, the iPhone 15 Pro in natural titanium with the Magback case. Uh, this is the 256 gigabyte model, which is a more than enough for my general use case. Well, I've been an on and off Apple or iPhone user for years and have actually carried two phones at multiple times. Um, I continually go back to the iPhone though, uh, due to the overall reliability and the ecosystem with my iPad, MacBook and Apple Watch. Um, speaking of watches, uh, my daily wear is actually not this Apple Watch Ultra, um, though it is great when I'm working out. My daily wear is the Citizen EcoDrive Chronograph in stainless steel. Um, I wear an analog watch due to the amount of time I actually do spend around tech every day. I'm gonna work as a cybersecurity analyst by trade, so staring at screens is a part of my normal flow. And this allows me to break that chain and enjoy the simpler, uh, less digital side of life. Next, we'll take a look at my choice of earbuds, the uh, Apple AirPods 3, um, which are easily my favorite earbuds due to the simple design and quick connectivity to my phone uh, when I need to jump on a call or listen to like a podcast. Um, I do plan on upgrading to the AirPods 4 in a few weeks to take advantage of some of those new features like the noise cancellation, which is great at this price point. It's hard to find that. I also have a pair of AirPods Pro, uh, though I'm not a huge fan of the rubber tip style. It just doesn't fit well in my ear. Speaking of rubber or elastic, uh, in this case, uh, here's my Ridge wallet uh, with the cash strap. Um, I've had this wallet for years, if you can't tell, and it hasn't let me down yet. Um, it's easily, easily holds all of my cards when I do uh, when I do need to carry cash. I can carry that just fine. It's rare, um, but I can easily slide it within the cash strap, uh, which is sadly falling apart on me. Um, you know, Ridge, if you want to hook me up with a uh, a new wallet, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, I also carry a utility tool with me every day. Uh, this is the Leatherman Skeletool. Uh, and it has a, an extremely sharp knife that can be used for cutting boxes um, or self-defense as needed. It also has a simple bottle opener and a clip attachment if you need to clip it to something. Uh, it folds out to show off a useful pair of pliers and a small interchangeable Phillips or flathead screwdriver attachment. I can't tell you how many times that actually has saved me um, since I've been carrying this. Uh, it's it's very useful. Um, now, I know I may get a little bit of hate for this next item, um, but I am a Tesla uh, owner. I do drive a Tesla, uh, and this is my key fob for that Tesla. Um, I'm, not, I'm not one of these asshole Tesla drivers either, so um, I know there are some out there. Um, some of you may be wondering why I have a key fob though. Um, I have a key fob or my Tesla. This was a carryover from my Model 3. Uh, my my phone or my car, it just doesn't connect well. Uh, and since it's so reliant on the connectivity from your phone, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't go without something like this due to how often it had failed at uh, detecting my phone and unlocking the car. So I carry a fob as it eliminates most of those issues and allows me to lock and unlock and access my car quickly and reliably. Um, again, this is a carryover from my Model 3, so it does have Model 3 branding on it, um, but it works well. And I do have this little belt clip that uh, simply attaches onto my belt. I do have regular keys as well, but I don't have those um, in the video for security reasons. Finally, it's time for the final part of my EDC, which is my Glock 40, uh, my Glock uh, 43X MOS. Um, this is by far my favorite pistol due to its size and overall reliability. Um, I've put a few thousand rounds through it uh, with no notable issues. Um, and you can also check out the video where I built this exact gun on the channel right now. Um, I run the Holosun 407K uh, X2 sight with a six MOA red dot and a TLR 7X sublight. Um, this gun is safe and clear, by the way, for anybody wondering, it is completely safe and clear. There is no ammunition on the set. Um, this red dot is super bright and it features a shake awake feature, uh, which allows me to save some battery when I'm riding in the car or something like that where it's stationary. Uh, the TLR 7 light is extremely bright and I would say it's a must have for any, uh, any true EDC setup, uh, especially uh, if you're out going out at night, uh, it allows you to essentially be able to blind someone and see what's actually in front of you when you need to. Um, 
in my opinion, again, if you're carrying, I would recommend a light. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend doing anything else. I also run the Shield Arms uh, Gen 3 15 round bags. Um, I know some people have had uh, some hit or miss uh, experiences with these when it comes to reliability. Um, I haven't had any issues with any of my magazines. I have about three of these and I haven't had any problems at all, lucky enough. Um, again, some people do, but um, I haven't. Uh, if you do run into issues, you can try the PSA um, magazines, which don't you know require a, a mag catch uh switch which is not the easiest thing in the world it seems like it would be easy but it's not the easiest thing in the world oddly oddly enough but um yeah i have no problem with it I, I would recommend trying it out if it works for you great if it doesn't run the the stock clock mags and you'll be just fine with the, the 10 rounds that it comes with I promise you that much and that's it for my EDC setup. I hope you guys enjoyed and please leave any comments or questions you may have about my setup. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'm out of here.